we're in Kingston, Ontario, Canada, in front of City Hall. Today we're here to talk about our digital twin and efforts to date in building that digital twin. The vision of a digital twin includes all information that is gathered, collected and managed through the project life cycle by allowing us to collaborate with the different disciplines involved with the project, like our land surveyor, a city planner, an engineer, the construction trades. Our goal is better situational awareness, a better understanding of what's being designed, what will eventually be built, and then on through to how we manage those assets in the future ultimately making Kingston a better place to live, work and play. The city of Kingston is a very beautiful and dynamic place to live. We have over 1,200 heritage properties, but we also have historic waterfront and we have a lot of interest in the city and new development that's being blended with our existing heritage fabric. So it's incredibly important as planners that we're thinking about all of these things where we're making new planning decisions with respect to the city of Kingston to make sure that its beauty endures while we also innovate at the same time. In September 2018, we actually acquired a full city LiDAR. We use that LiDAR as the basis for creating our digital model, which is a, a virtual representation, a digital reality of Kingston. That information was used to create what we call a level of two detail model, uh, essentially buildings and roof structures. With the introduction of ArcGIS Pro, we were able to leverage existing data to create our 3D model. That has actually recast some of the conversations around Enterprise GIS and the importance of an end-to-end -end process. So far we've developed 3D buildings, 3D bridges, as well as a DTM web elevation layer to use as a ground source in our 3D web scenes. In past development proposals, parts of decisions are made based on, say, artist renderings, things of that nature, of how someone might expect something to look, but with the 3D data, you can really provide a realistic view of what that proposed development might look like. And then we have a number of historic view sheds that we try to preserve here at the City of Kingston. Different looks from the waterfront or down to the waterfront they'd like to protect. You can also do a shadow analysis to see what kind of light impact might be made with large building. Every time anyone sees it for the first time, uh, there's definitely a, a bit of a wow. If the public have ideas or suggestions where we can actually make those changes fairly easily, Esri Canada provides a excellent customer support, very responsive. We're able to get help with any of these new pieces of technology very quickly and we can kind of see where things are going and uh, the future looks bright. One of the exciting things that's also happening is our ability now to leverage existing data that's already in our systems. Where we want to go next is start modeling every other aspect of the community so one can visualize above ground, underground, underneath, every which way you want to see the city. The 3D platform is something that I've been talking to our GIS team about since I started with the City of Kingston five years ago. So it's been very um, rewarding and exciting and validating to see that in a short period of time, these tools advance to the place that we're able to achieve uh, with relative ease and technology, some of the higher level concepts of visionary planning that we aspire to as planners and to see that come to fruition within five years is incredibly exciting. It makes me even more excited to see what the next five years are going to bring.